Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn everything about VBA and in today's video we are going to learn about frames. So what are frames in user form? So till now we have learned how we can add checkboxes or combo boxes or list boxes or command buttons but what if you want all this to be together and you want to change properties of all these together? How you can do that? That is where frames comes into the picture. So let's check it out. Coming up. Now before moving on to today's topic, if you are new on this channel and want to learn everything about VBA, we share something new on this channel related to VBA every week. So consider subscribing. Moving on to my screen now, uh, as you can see, we have a user form 9 which is open right now and there are two command buttons here. Uh, if I press the first command button or if I press the second one, you will see the frame, frame number here. So this is the frame which is getting activated by pressing any of the two buttons, right? So whichever button we press, that uh, frame is getting activated. So this is how frame works. Now let's see how we can create this. So as regularly, we have to open uh, first uh, VBA editor. So press Alt and F11. After that, click on insert and click user form, right? Once you have the user form, so you can add two frames. So with the toolbox, you can see there is an option of frames right so I'll just press that and create a frame right now once the frame is created we can add all the objects that we want here so for example uh, let's say I want one label inside the frame and I want few checkboxes right and uh, let's say I want one list box also right or combo box I would say uh, so this way uh, you can create a frame right so this is first frame now we will talk about second frame so similarly I'll just increase the size of this and now I'll add a second frame right so this is the second frame and let's say in this again uh, we want some uh, label at the top and then what we want are let's say radio buttons here right I'll add one more okay and let's say there are also uh, check boxes in this right and let's say there is a button in both of them once you select all this option kind of so this is just uh, for demo I'm showing it to you uh, maybe the requirements can be different at your end so you have to prepare it accordingly so let's say we have all this now what we want is that if I press this button which I'm inserting right now right so the first frame should get open and if I press the second button which is this now this second frame should open right I'll just uh, resize this a bit Okay, uh, so this is how a frame is created. You can add all your objects here. Anything from here can be added here, right? Now, how? what is the advantage of the frame is any code that I assign, let's say be it fill color or anything else, uh, let's say hide, unhide, everything will be applied to all the objects. So instead of writing different codes uh, for all the objects, you can just write one code for frame and that will apply to all the objects inside the frame. Let's see how this is done. So I already have uh, this uh, user form. I'll take the code from here. So user form 10 and here is the first command click 3. So I'll just change this to command click 3 and my other button is four so you can check that name i'll just show you from where so you can see this is command button three and you can check the name here okay and after that you can select this 
and check the button name here. So this is command button four, right? So that's how I have written the code also. What should happen when command button three is clicked and what should happen when command button four is clicked. Now, what you have to write in the macro is you have to write the user form number. So in my case, it's user form 10, right? You can see this, this is what I have created now. So you have to create this user form 10. I'll just change it here also. So make sure these numbers are correct, right? And frame one and frame two are same. And what I want to do is whenever someone clicks on the first button, which is command button three, I want first frame to become visible and second frame to become not visible or hidden. So that's why I have written false here. Okay, but I'll also show you what other properties are available in the frame, right? So all these things, whatever you are seeing right now in the drop down, you can do all this with the frame function or frame functionality. So you can uh, add a back color, border color, or uh, can paste, redo, undo captions. You can change their captions, their controls, their control source. So the list is very long. I mean, these are very useful features if you are looking at preparing some uh, user form. So you should definitely use this, right? So all this you can explore. I'll just right now show you how you can make them visible or hide them, right? And similarly on the reverse side, when I click on command button four, I want first frame to be hidden. So I've written visible is equal to false and second frame to be visible. So visible is equal to true, right? Now let's see how this is working. So I'll just uh, go back to this and this is a button where I'll uh, assign the macro. You can add a new button also by clicking on insert and the first option in form control is button. So you can create a button like this, right? But I'll use the existing button. I'll right click on it and assign a macro and I'll change this to 10, user form 10, okay? So I'll just remove the other two lines because they are not required. So, now let's press this button and as you can see user form 10 is now available here and I have command button 3. If I press it, the second user form hides and if I press this, the first user form hides, right? So similarly, you can also, as I showed you, fill color, change captions or there are a lot of things which you can do with frame functionality. So do check out and do explore them. Let me know if you have any questions. That's it for today's video. I hope after watching this video, you are able to add frames in your projects and you find this video useful. If yes, hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done that yet. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.